Well, hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? And so, welcome. So, in this, uh, this afternoon's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can play Saturn games on your jailbroken PS4. And yes, I did say jailbroken, guys. Um, you do have to have a jailbroken PS4 for this. But there's a lot of videos on YouTube, guys, that go over on how to do that. And it's very, very, very simple, guys. It's not hard to do. Uh, sh it should take you like 10 minutes to do that, guys. It's not hard. So, so in this video, all you need is a jailbroken PS4, a game, a Saturn game, of course, and the program that I'm about to show you here. Uh, that's all you need. That's all you need. So what we'll be doing, we'll be uh, taking a, an... Uh, a, Saturn, a Saturn game ISO and convert them over into an installable package file. That way you can install it onto your PS4 and it runs at full speed, guys. No problem whatsoever. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead. We'll get started with this, guys. And uh, I'll put on the computer here and get going with it. How about that? All right. Okay guys, so here we are. We are on the computer. We're all ready to go now. Uh, you guys ready to go? Well, if you're not, uh, too bad. We're moving on. <laughs> anyway, alright, so what you're going to need to have, guys, is of course your program here. And I've got a, a folder here with my game inside. Um, and I've also got a couple pictures because you, you want to customize your game. You, you're welcome to. It looks a lot better if you do um, these two games right here guys I'm gonna go over here in a little while uh, because these two games uh, they're formatted in a way in which they won't work and I'll show you that here in a second but uh, let me show you the websites guys where you gonna get this stuff from so first this is where you gonna get your program uh, the link will be under the description so all you're going to do um, is scroll down. Here's, here's uh, your instructions on how to use it, uh, the program here. And you're going to scroll down, guys, until you see new version 1.1. You just click on that, guys, download it, you're all good. All right. And if this website ever goes down, uh, there's a second site right here, guys. You can just go to it and download it from there. All right. As for the pictures and all that stuff, all I do, guys, I just Google them. Um, like for Tiger Plus here, Tiger 2 Plus, I uh, downloaded this from my icon, all right. And over here, I just downloaded a um, Sega Saturn uh, logo uh, picture. <clears throat> so once you boot into a game, this will show up before it actually boots up. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get one of those, all right. So let's get started, guys. Um, let me go into here real quick and I'll extract this. I should have already extracted it. I did not think about that, but anyway. Okay, so let me show you the games that do work. Okay, let me go into this folder here. Alright, so we have a game with a lot of bin files. These are all bin files right here, guys. All the way down, and then you have your Q file. This will work. Uh, I know in some games that I did in the past, I think it was PS1 games or 2 games, um, in which they wouldn't work with all the bin files. You had to use ISO Buster to create one bin file out of all those bin files. Well, this one, you don't have to worry about that you're good as long as you have a queue and bin file you're fine whether it's one or 20 it, it doesn't matter they work all right now as for this one here and don't ask me how to pronounce that guys I do not know but this one here if I go down to rename I'll show you here this is a MDF file and an MDS file now I did convert these over into a queue and bin file and this one right here i got a black screen it didn't go no further than that <laughs> okay that got a black screen um so i'm still working around now i'm still new at this so I, i'm i'm trying to experiment with different files systems and stuff like that uh this one here gunbird 2 has four different files in it 
image, Q, CCD, and sub. Um, I converted these over to a Q and bin, and the game did boot up, it did run, but it was like real choppy. I mean, it would move and stop, move and stop, move and stop. I mean, it kept doing that. So that's the deal with this. Uh, maybe it's just a bad game, maybe, or just maybe this file system here that, you know, this, this kind of format. It, it doesn't it's just not gonna work I don't know but I'm gonna try to find some more games like this guys and see if it does the same thing uh, as well as this one right here and we'll see later but I know this one works so let's get down to the business guys what we're gonna do we're gonna open up our program here double click on the uh, the extension here and here is our program all right so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to load up our game inside here guys and you're going to use this select button here to load a disk right here so we need to navigate to our q file and we'll bring this all the way up and okay so that's what it's looking for it's going it's going to be looking for a q file so click on that we'll open it up all this stuff should be filled in and right here guys if you want to you can change this name uh just tiger 2 plus or tiger 2 or whatever however you want to do it but whatever you name down here guys that's where it's going to show up on your ps4 all right so don't forget about that okay you can go to game config over here guys <clears throat> and right here you can actually check this off if you want it in widescreen where to, sh where to cover the entire screen of your TV. I wouldn't recommend that because uh, the graphics, they might be really pixelated. And uh, I'm telling you, it, it's not, uh, if it's too pixelated, it, it, it ruined the whole game, in my opinion. So I just leave everything alone in here. I don't mess with anything, guys. You're welcome to if you want, but I just leave it alone. Let's go back to general here, and this is where you're going to put your uh, your pictures in here, your icon picture right here. So we'll hit the select button to navigate to our picture. And this is our icon picture, and we'll open it up, and it should show up right here. This is what our icon picture is going to look like. <clears throat> now we need our splash, splash screen, and we'll open it up, and this is going to be my splash screen boom and guys that is it just hit create package here and you're ready to go so what we're going to do we're, gonna, we're just going to save it to the desktop here and we'll wait a second let it do its thing and then we're ready to hop on over to the ps4 very simple guys all this is very simple i mean the jailbreaking of the ps4 Converting these Saturn games over, simple, I mean, nothing to it. Okay, and there we are, guys. Our package has been created right here. As you can see, package file. And now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put my flash drive in the computer here. What we're going to do, we're going to cut it and just paste it right in there, guys. Okay. This one right here, we'll delete that. We don't need that one. Okay. All right, guys. Meet me over at the PS4. Okay, guys. So here we are on the PS4. Uh, I got my flash drive hooked up. Uh, so whenever you go to do something like this guys just make sure your flash drive is hooked up to your rightmost port on your PS4 and you're good to go uh, so let's go up here guys let's um, get installing this thing uh, I'll show you what system update I'm on right now uh, I'm on the uh, 9.0 
Uh, so if you want to jailbreak guys, this is the latest uh, software that you that you can get get on uh, If you go to 903, uh, there's not a jailbreak for the 903 yet But you know th there soon will be no doubt So just keep that in mind. Don't go past 9.0 if you want to jailbreak All right, so now I'm gonna go all the way up to gold hen here Go down to package installer and install the game. Okay, she's all done. We'll back out of this and go down and there she is right there so let's boot it up guys show you the splash screen and all that stuff and show you how well it runs that's my splash screen here's all your controls here This is like one of my favorite games on the Saturn that I've played so far. I love helicopters. I'm a big uh, helicopter fan, so of course this is going to be one of my favorite ones. Besides uh, Radiant Silver Gun and all that stuff. Alright, so I use the uh, R1 button to add a credit and then you hit start. And we're ready to go. Very difficult game, guys. Oh, it's very difficult. Uh, oh my gosh. See, this is nuts. <laughs> Let me add another coin in this Joker. Hold on a sec. But as you can see guys, runs runs full speed, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Ooh, okay. So that's it guys as you can see full speed nothing wrong with it um, everything's great runs perfect awesome a little quick we'll boot out of this real quick close her out and uh, I like to keep all my things in folders guys uh, I got my Saturn Sega Saturn folder here all my action games horror shmups Sports, puzzle, strategy, adventure. I just like to be organized that way. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put her in the folder here. She deserves a spot in the folder. So we're going to edit the folder here. I'm going to select the game, which is this one. And we're going to go over to confirm. Hit OK. And there she is. And I got, uh, these are the games that I have so far. I think there's like 17, 18 of them or something. Sexy Paradius.
This is a great game too. Really, really great. That one too. Salamander. Awesome. So yeah. I think I only got about 20 of them. I can't remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, okay. Well, it was, eight, it was 18. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. Uh, that's how you, that's how you get Saturn, uh, Sega Saturn working on the PS4. Simple as I don't know what. I've always wanted to play Sega Saturn, guys, and I, I didn't think I would. I, I didn't think I would ever be able to, um, because they they always said that the Sega Saturn is really hard to emulate. And when I heard about this, guys, boy, I jumped on it, boy, real quick. <laughs> and I just wanted to, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope it helps some of you guys out. Um, but if you haven't got a jailbroken PS4, you guys, I, I highly recommend you do that. Um, it's, I mean, just to play these games. This is, this is why I jailbroke my PS4. I mean, I, I love all these, uh, retro games and things like that. If I can play Saturn, I'm all for it, dude, for real. But that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. And again, I hope it helped you out. And, uh. You guys stay safe and keep gaming, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next uh, Let's Play tutorial or whatever I get myself into, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you guys later. All right.